Inside Science TV. Each year after a long, hard winter, how nice to finally see gardens filled with beautiful flowers. It's a good time to stop and smell the roses, but not these ones. Chemists at Harvard University have grown roses that are smaller than a speck of dust. These kind of structures form spontaneously, so you, even without doing anything, in two hours you already grow a beautiful garden of, of microstructures. Developed in a lab with a few simple chemicals, scientists have grown tiny sculptures of roses, violets, and even tulips, each smaller than the width of a human hair that can only be seen through a microscope. The first time we looked uh, at these structures under the microscope, I was totally surprised. It was not one structure that we were growing, but it was a whole landscape. The shapes are crystals that build themselves, one molecule at a time, on a glass surface put in water with other chemicals similar to sand and chalk. Carbon dioxide from the air naturally dissolves in the water and sets off a chemical reaction that causes the crystals to form. We either grow structures that blossom open or that curl up uh, in, 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 in spiral shapes by simply controlling the, the, these balances between the chemicals. Teeny flowers formed on the back of a penny create a garden of nano tulips on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. Every structure is, is unique. Unique shapes that bring a whole new meaning to springtime in bloom. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.